The Honorable Chief Justice and Associate Justices of the Supreme Court. The House will come to order. The Senate will come to order. I'm going to do both House Bill 955 and 56. They're of similar nature. Uh, what it does, uh, 955 would uh, change where the county treasurer, clerk of courts, and register of wills would be nonpartisan elections, and 956 would do the same for the office of sheriff. Uh, back during the, uh, this last election cycle, uh, I think as we all have happened to us, we have, we have citizens call and say, who, who should we vote for? And uh, uh, obviously, Delegate Frick's won. And, uh, but it's, it's very important, I think, that you know, we, we, we have a, a situation that has uh, this last election cycle, which was, it seemed like, between the conservative movement, the Republican movement, and the Tea Party movement across the country, uh, it, it, it becomes very partisan. And sometimes... Uh, as we have experienced, I know in my three uh, terms down here, we have people we wonder, we sit with, and we wonder how they get here. You know, it was, the, it was that the right person to elect? And was it because uh, it was because of partisan election, be it Republican or Democrat, either one? Um, I have examples I want to use in a, a second, but we had a situation where constituents were asking, well, how can we vote for uh, a, a Democrat, because I'm a Republican, and vice versa. I, I'm, a, I'm a Republican, but I want to vote for that Democrat. And I asked myself, well, why, why uh, would a job that we're hiring the best person for, as I do in my construction business, why, why wouldn't we want the best person? Because a job of the sheriff, the job of uh, clerk of court, register of will, that is, is something that we put that responsibility on that person. We want the best person to serve in that job. But we put the politics into it, but we should take the politics out of it. Whereas we, we are elected as uh, members of the House of Delegates, we come down here, and uh, uh, after four years our, and our voting record, they'll find out very, very fast that they want to rehire us if we don't vote the right way for our constituents. Another story uh, is the Register of Wills. Uh, a couple of attorneys called me in Hagerstown, and they said uh, uh, there's a young man who has worked in the Register of Wills office for the last 10 years under the current elected Register of Wills. And he's running now uh, for that position, and he is the most qualified. Uh, Jason Malott, Democrat. Once again, they're coming to Leroy Myers, Republican, and uh, the politics went into it. And it was like, here's your slate of people you vote for, but we weren't putting someone in a very important position, someone that, you know, when we have a death, and I trust me, I know this firsthand, you want someone to talk to who knows what's going on. So the register of wills and the clerk of court uh, and your treasurer that, you know, when you talk about your taxes, I mean, these people are hired to do a job, and they have to have, uh, we have to have the right people in those offices immediately. Not someone has a learning curve or someone wants to change something that was done before, but immediately they have to be the right person for those positions. So um, I bring to you nine, House Bill 955 and 956 uh, with that background and uh, would ask for a favorable report. Any questions? Uh, thank you. Any questions? Uh, Del uh, why, should, why should we continue with elections in some of these positions at all? Why not? You know, make these appointed positions. I mean, just just like we have a you know we have a police chief that's that serves at the at the will of the county authorities. We have plenty of other you know. And that's a good point because people. in some counties uh, they've already have eliminated the uh, the position of treasurer and mm -hmm. have that appointed. And uh, I I could see that although uh, uh, I think constitutionally we are bound by the sheriff. That's why I separated the two from this. But uh, but you're right. I mean, it's it's a. Uh, uh, it's coming to the point where we, we, I think though the people still should have the right to put that person, elect them to that position, just like we do judges, 
just like we do the school board. This would follow the same pattern with the same rules. Okay. Thanks. Delegate. I just I, I do have a question and a concern, and that is about the position the position of sheriff. While, while I could agree with the other positions, because they really aren't partisan positions, they're really, um, you know, positions that don't require political parties one way or the other. And, uh, Delegate, that's also why I separated the two, because I think one would be a little tougher in the office of the sheriff versus the other ones that I feel are just really day-to-day uh, -day positions. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Delegate, just is a sensible piece, but let me ask you this. Are we getting into an area where you think it's going to become necessary, necessary for a resume to be done in regards to some of these positions, or all of them? Well, I, I don't think it's going to be if, – if it is, continues to be an election, I think that resume is how they, how they uh, uh, promote, uh, promote themselves when they're when running for office. And uh, uh, in your town meetings or your town halls that they come out and tell a little bit about themselves, whether it's in their political literature or whatever. But, uh, but once again, get back to my example of the Register of Wills in Washington County, a very well-qualified young man who had an apprenticeship under the current Register of Wills and stepped right into the job the next day. Why? Because he was almost like vice president of the company, whereas, whereas the, the guy that ran against him, was didn't you know just was running for office and could have won so these positions are that important especially when it comes to register will and certain the clerk of court well i agree with you on that but i was going back to some of your testimony in regards to the best qualified person mm -hmm. and in some cases i mean most cases with elected officials it comes down to your presentation mm -hmm. uh slick literature whatever the case may be not what you know but who you know and that type of stuff. So always, we don't always get the best qualified person uh, if it was based upon a resume or based upon a review board that was choosing the person as opposed to putting it out to the public and let the public come back and say who do they feel uh, is, is, is the best person. That's the reason I asked that question, based, I, on, I, and that's your a good own, point. based on your own words. Yeah, that, that's a good point, whereas you would, but then I think you put that back in the hand of politics if you allow, say, for instance, the uh, county commissioners to make that selection. And that's what you're saying. Okay. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Nancy Soaring with the League of Women Voters of Maryland, and we are here to testify in favor of HB 955. Um, in the winter of 2010, the League did a study of the uh, functions and duties of the clerks of the court and the register of will. We produced a fact sheet as a result of that study that can be found on our website, lwvmd.org, and the exact link is in my written testimony. The study resulted in uh, League members around the state agreeing that uh, they favor eliminating the partisan elections for selection of clerks of the court and registers of will. And the main reason why we came to this conclusion is that these offices, as the previous person said, are primarily administrative rather than policy making. And our members felt that party affiliation had little bearing on how a candidate might fulfill the duties of that office. So therefore, electing these uh, people on a partisan basis might detract voters from choosing the most qualified candidate. And right now I'm going to put a little plug when you, for uh, the League of Women Voters Voters Guides, which every year we ask the uh, people who are running for these offices what their qualifications are for clerk of the court or qualifications for um, register of wills. And we also ask them what their priorities would be if they had that office. We do it in a fair and balanced way, and hopefully people make their decisions based on the qualifications expressed in those voters' guides, not slick literature or other assets. So any questions? Uh, thank you. Any questions? Uh, Delegate Turner. Is there any other that you have on this list that you might think might not be? For instance, the judges. Well, the judges already are in bipartisan well, elections, but we do support them being nonpartisan elections so that independents can vote in the primaries for judges as well. I mean, are there any other you have on this? What about us? Are you going to put us on that? <laughs> well, we do make a distinction between policy making and administrative functions, and you are clearly policy makers, and there is, I think, something to be said for a party giving some indication of where somebody's values might be in that regard. So we Just do not checking. have a position Just on that. Just <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chief. 
<laughs> just so let me let me play devil's advocate as Delegate Frick did just okay. before. So y- you um, you have a person who's a Republican run, say, in Prince George's County in a nonpartisan election, wins because they appear to be the most qualified or they do the best job running the show, running running the campaign, even if they're not the most qualified. And then they determine to start um, focusing the energies of the clerk's office on all the civil matters and totally create a monster backload on all the criminal matters, causing all these people who are now locked up to have um, three or four month waiting periods because they believe that all these people who have been charged with crimes and have not yet been convicted are already Um, they should be tough on them and keep them in jail as long as they can because even though it's an administrative job, um, they have an ability to create policy. I was going to say that hypothetical could go either way regardless of the the party of the person. And I just – we didn't go that far in our imaginary thinking. (laughs) I think we're all happy that you didn't. (laughs) Thank you very much. Thank you. The opponents, I have uh, Robert Duckworth and uh, uh, Cher 